Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Montoya. All right, so in today's video, I'm going to be recapping my looks from 2018. Now, I have, you know, and I tell myself, don't do this. You'd be like, oh, I had all these things that I wanted to do. And, you know, after I put everything together, I'm like, this is all that I made, this is it. And it's like, why are you looking at it like that? Why are you looking at it like, oh, that's all, that's all you did? Instead of, wow, look what you created in 2018. Okay, look, look at that. Look at that. Look at what you did. I'm over here like, oh, I, I had wanted to do this. I had wanted to do that. And I didn't even get enough time. Why, girl, why are you focusing on that? Bring it back. Congratulate yourself. Okay? And that's also what I'm, I'm working on that all the time. But, yes. So, I will be recapping all of the wonderful things that I did in 2018. And, um, yeah, letting you know some of my goals for 2019. All right, so first I'm going to start off with my goals for 2019, and then I will end the video with my looks from 2018. So there, um, so I put like all the information about what the garment was, uh, like the pattern that I used and everything, and some pictures. All right, so my first goal for 2019 is make garments that I can style multiple ways. So this coat that I'm actually wearing right now, um, so I can wear it as a dress, I can wear it open as a coat. Um, so that's just sort of the track that I'm on. Like, how can I wear my garments more than just one way? I want to be able to try to style this garment year round. I need to make it work for me. So that's my very first goal. All right. So my next goal is to make garments that fit my lifestyle. So you may or may not know, I am a school teacher. I teach fourth and fifth grade. So I keep the same students for two years. Um, I transition, we call it a uh, looping teacher. So that's what I am. And I love to wear, I love wearing joggers, but unfortunately I cannot wear those at work. Not even on Fridays, it's jeans day, but I'm not a jeans girl, I'm a joggers girl. So the next best thing for me is to wear a maxi skirt that I can move in, feel free in, feel relaxed in, not too, you know, sucked in, you know, something that I can move with. So I'll be making more skirts. I'll be making joggers because I like to wear those on the weekends if I'm not wearing uh, a maxi skirt. And um, to make more accessories like, you know, different bags that I like to wear or, you know, just different things that I can throw on that can really just, you know, take a simple outfit and just make it pop. Because I really like doing like simple silhouettes, but then adding extra like, you know, little small touches to really like bring something um, just to accentuate it a little bit more. Also, an exciting thing that I'm going to be doing in 2019 is making my niece's prom dress. So, she is going to her senior ball, and uh, yeah, she would like for me to make her a dress. And y'all know I don't sew for, you know, others, but I do sew for my family. So, of course, when she asks, like, oh, this is a dress that I want for prom, I'm like, say no more got online started researching looking up what what pattern i was going to use or what i was going to modify how i was going to do the fabric and how it was going to make it work so come may 2019 i'll probably vlog my experience because um trying to do and and maybe if it comes out nice i'll do a tutorial about it later but you know trying to do something new and record a tutorial at the same time is pretty challenging so i have to like do it first, work out all the kinks, and then I teach. Like, I have to make the mistakes first so that I can show you all how to do it after learning from making my own mistakes. But uh, yeah, so I'm excited about that in 2019. All right, and also on my channel in 2019, I will be doing hair tutorials. So I already recorded my first one and it was me braiding my niece's hair into this braided updo. Maybe I'll throw in a picture or a video of some sort so you all can can get a, a little sneak peek picture of, of what's coming to you all. Um, so yeah, probably my first two will be doing other people's hair and then I'll get into showing you how I do my own hair because 
I also I, I'm like I'm like DIY everything like everything that I do I always try to see how I can do it myself. Anytime you guys see me with some goddess locks, braids, um, any type of style I have done it myself. Actually my first passion like I started braiding hair when I was 12 years old so I will be doing uh, hair tutorials and maybe I'll do even because I really like how I just still pressed my hair Y'all should check me out right quick. Let me give y'all a quick. I'm going to model my hair for y'all. So this is me. This, this is me right here. And, um, yeah, you know, I keep my styles, you know, real simple and everything. And I don't straighten my hair often. So that's why y'all probably won't see a, 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 you know, a silk press on my channel. Maybe for a minute because I don't. I straighten my hair maybe one, once a year or twice if I really want to, you know, straighten my hair. I feel like I want to cut my ends. But yeah, you see? You see me trying to, I have my own hair go. I'm trying to bang on myself. So, yeah. My ends, you know, they're not the best right now, but it's okay. It's okay. Like... It is what it is. My hair still be growing. And it still is flourishing. If you want to know about my hair, let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. To help me to generate some content, some hair videos. What would y'all like to know about hair? I know it feels like, oh, YouTube is already saturated. Hey, the world is saturated with so much stuff. But hey, I got the information. And lastly, my goal is to just have fun with the process like sometimes I can really stress myself out about you know finishing a project or doing certain things and I just really just want to enjoy the process enjoy the moment um, you know like learn just you know like take the time to really like absorb all of the things that I'm learning and also in 2019 want to when I am like buying like sewing materials and things be very thoughtful because as I look around in my sewing room I just see a lot of impulse buys you know especially with when those patterns go on sale at Joann's like it's just like impulse 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 and it's like you bought that when you first started sewing and you have never used that pattern why why did you you just saw it and you liked it but are you going to sew it up today or or, the, or is it like why you know you're like you just want to get it because it's on sale or you know so 2019 I'm also going to be working on my impulse behavior um, it's gonna be quite hard with the Ankara because y'all y'all already know how it is it's it's very limited when you find something that you like, it's very limited yardage. You know, like, it could be 10 yards in stock today and then the 10 yards is gone tomorrow. So that's why it's like, even though I don't know what I'm going to use it for, I like it. So that's really my hardest addiction that I am going to have to try to work on in 2019 is buying fabric. You know, just impulse buying because... I'm always on Etsy like all the time like I just really love being on Etsy looking at fabric it's just I don't know why it's just like when I wake up on a Saturday morning I know this is like girl you don't have nothing else better to do with your life but really I do like waking up like I like scrolling through Etsy looking at fabric when I wake up on Saturday morning after I've been slept in ain't gotta go to work oh I can just wake up and look at fabric Ooh, and just waste time just looking at fabric and um i just start favoriting so much stuff then i'll be like oh maybe i should then i just start putting stuff in my cart and then you know they got that new thing on etsy five other people have this in their cart and it's like don't tell me that you see y'all y'all good with the marketing mm -hmm. that's how they get you that is how they get you they let you know but um i've i've um I've been okay in December. I didn't do too, too much damage.
those are all of my looks from 2018. So let me know down in the comment section which one was your favorite. And then also let me know what do you want to see from me in 2019? You have any suggestions? Do you want to see like my sewing plans for the month or if I buy a piece of, you know, if I buy some fabric to like put it in the um, post like pictures of fabric that I buy or you know, or if I do buy a pattern, would you like, like me to post like pictures of that and or different things or what I'm working on? Um, yeah, what would you like to see from me here on my channel? Let me know. All right, until next time.